so now let's start with testability so what is the de definition of this testability so testability is a relative testability is a relative measure of effort or we can say cost of testing a logic circuit okay so this is the definition of testability then first of all testability is based on one assumption and the assumption is that only let me write the assumption and the assumption is that only primary inputs and primary outputs can be directly controllable and observable respectively okay so this is this basic assumption on which this testability works so in other words we can also define testability like this that testability reflects the effort required to perform the main test operation of controlling internal signals from primary inputs and observing internal signal from primary output now you might have one question that what is this primary inputs and primary outputs so for that consider this circuit suppose that this is some combinational logic and this is the a feedback that is memory element let's say one flip flop so these are called primary inputs okay and these are called primary outputs but what about this inputs and this outputs this inputs are called pseudo primary inputs okay pseudo primary inputs and these outputs are pseudo primary outputs okay so primary outputs are the output which is the final one and the inputs are the input where we apply the test vectors so i hope it is clear now let's go towards some application of this testability analysis so before that let us define the term testability analysis so it refers to process of evaluation of testability of logic circuit by calculating a set of numerical measures for each signal or we can say each node in the circuit so this is the definition of testability analysis so it is the definition of testability this is definition of testability analysis now application of testability analysis is that testability analysis uh, helps us in decision making process during the test generation for example so first application is it helps us in decision making okay during test generation so for example consider an end gate okay so now let's say we want the output should be zero then we have to provide zero to both or if we provide zero to any one then we will get zero suppose this is zero and this is one also output will be zero and suppose this is zero and this is one then also output will be zero so testability analysis helps us in determining where from these two vectors which signal is easy to set to either zero or one okay so it helps us in decision making then second application is that it helps 
to identify poor areas to identify poor areas okay that is poor testability areas and guide for that enhancement of the testability of that area okay such as test point in insertion we will discuss test point insertion also within few lectures test point insertion etc then uh, for this purpose test analysis is performed at various levels okay it is at various design stages also the testability is performed so that the testability problems can be identified as soon as possible and we can save lots of money and time okay so now let's discuss the testability approaches so the first approach is scope based testability and con that is scope scope based observability and controllability analysis so the abbreviation of scope is that sandia controllability observability analysis program and it was invented by this is one algorithm only and it is given by goldstein okay so the scope based this program calculate six numerical values for each signal okay so which six values it is calculating cc0 these are combinational measures these are sequential measures so 3 and 3 will give us six so cc0 means that difficulty of setting circuit line to logic zero okay here one c stands for combinational and one c stands for controllability and zero means difficulty in setting that logic zero okay and in place of zero if it is one then it is difficulty in setting logic line to one okay and co means that difficulty of observing a circuit line and similarly sequential measures are there the same definition okay so you can check it now this three combinational measures okay i am talking about this three only this three combinational measures so this three combinational measures are related to the number of signals that must be manipulated in order to control or observe any signal s from primary input or at primary outputs whereas this three sequential testability measures are related to number of clock cycles required to observe s from the primary input or at the primary output got it so for sequential it gives us this three measures gives us the number of clock cycles and for combinational measures of testability it gives us the number of signals that must be manipulated okay in order to get the desired result at so and so node okay so that's all for this video and the last thing is that the value of controllability lies from 1 to infinity and observability lies from 0 to infinity and as a boundary condition this is a very important thing that as a boundary condition the cc0 and cc1 are being initialized to 1 and sc0 and sc1 of primary input are set to 0 and also combinational observability and sequential observability both are of primary output both are set to 0 these are the boundary condition which will be following okay so in the next lecture i will be discussing the calculation of controllability and observability okay of particular logic circuit we will first of all consider combinational logic circuit and then we will move towards sequential okay that's all thank you